I'm going to present uh, fishing in the credential harvesting. So uh, I've done some uh, testing with uh, the tool uh, we've been given, which was uh, DNS GIF and um, a social the social engineering toolkit. Uh, basically, um, I'm going to give a definition of uh, what credential harvesting is. Oh, she's, uh, it's not her, his. Oops. Uh, how this work and uh, what we can do against it. Uh, so basically, um, phishing uh, takes uh, various forms, like such as uh, for this email, uh, suspicious links. Uh, we can even harvest uh, credential using malware viruses or links to bogus websites. And uh, in that very case, uh, what uh, I did was uh, to clone the website uh, to harvest uh, the, the credentials. Uh, we can even do, uh, do um, there, there are even uh, scrambling tools that, for instance, uh, when you when we make a typo of uh, a famous website, for instance, uh, instead of uh, writing Facebook, we mismatch uh, the A and E. We can go like to uh, a bogus website that is a fake Facebook, basically a clone, but it, that is going to harvest uh, our credentials. So, uh, credential harvesting can take uh, very various forms. Uh, the most classic one is uh, the small scale phishing. So it's a very generic attack. Uh, you were gonna send um, a suspicious mail to uh, everyone. We don't really care who, who will receive it. We're just expecting some part of the population to, uh, to click on the link and to get baited. So it's a very large scale and uh, it's um, a, low, uh, a low reward. Spear phishing uh, on the other hand is uh, very targeted. So we uh, will target a, a person We'll have to study his behaviors, his, um, his personal life, so we can um, make uh, personalized uh, attacks. So it's, uh, it takes a bit more time than a small uh, scale phishing, but it's uh, usually uh, more successful. And uh, last but not least, there is a whaling that uh, targets um, very important people, and that if uh, it's successful, is uh, very uh, rewarding. Uh, the, the major leaks that happens in big company was uh, the, the fruit of uh, whaling attacks. So um, I'm going to do a live demo of uh, the toolkit and the uh, chief. So everything uh, I've done uh, is uh, my uh, virtual box machine that works on, uh, I think, Unix. No, it's an Ubuntu machine. So right now I'm gonna just I'm just gonna start the, um, the script. Is um, set to kit. So uh, right now I've started the script. So um, the the tool gives me like uh, many ways to uh, to do some uh, social attacks, social engineering attacks. So I'm gonna go for the social engineering attack. The website data vector and uh, the credential harvest attack. Uh, I'm going to go for the self cloner. I'm going to host it on my loopback address. And for the for the example, I'm going to use um, a university website. Okay, so right now the, the tool is cloning the website. So in a, in a few moments, uh, it's gonna be uh, pasted in the, my loop back address. So if I, if I go right there, um, the, the site almost look identical to, uh, to the original one. But um, there is, uh, well, the, we can see that it's not uh, the real one because it's uh, hosted in my loop back address. So if I type, for instance, my username and my password and I try to connect. Uh, it won't log me in, but uh, we can see that uh, um, it harvested uh, what I, I've written. So 
you can see that my the username entered is my username, the password I entered is my my password. So by by uh, cloning that website, I've successfully like harvested uh, the credentials of uh, the real website. So if, if I were a normal user, I would have lost my uh, my credential to a fake website. And the other tool is uh, DNS Chief that allows you to uh, uh, redirect uh, a request to uh, to the fake website. So for instance, if a person is using uh, your DNS Chief, uh, you can basically uh, reroute um, its request to, to the website you cloned. So for instance, instead of going to the university, I'm gonna redirect that, uh, that request to my website. So the, uni the, the user will see, will see it uh, coming. So it's also pretty easy to use. Uh, so right now, uh, I, I didn't specify any parameters, but I've just launched, launched it. I've just uh, started my DNS. If I want to uh, to uh, spoof a, a particular um, a website, I have to write a fake fake IP uh, and uh, specify which IP I, where where I wanted the request to be rerouted. So will be on my loopback and the fake domains, the website I want to um, to impersonate. I can uh, write a specific website or reuse everything uh, that is coming to uh, to the, the IP I've uh, specified. So right now I've uh, I've rerouted every single request to the, the loopback address. So if I'm using that DNS, everything is going to be routed to my fake website that is then going to harvest uh, the credentials. But it's not the, the, the most, uh, convenient way to do it like it, it would be better to just uh, reroute the the request for that website uh, to to the fake one so that that concludes my presentation on uh, how the credential harvesting works for me awesome well i really like the presentation we're definitely off to a great start um Thanks. i'm going to do a quick summary of, of some things that you talked about, even though you did a great job explaining them. Um, just so that people who aren't really familiar with the concepts hear it one more time and, and know kind of what you did. So what we're basically doing is we're duplicating an existing website, but we're hosting it on an attacker machine so that whoever connects to the website, instead of connecting to the actual website, they connect to the attacker machine's version of it. And then when they enter any credentials, the attacker can then read those credentials. Um, and then the other thing that uh, uh, was, was shown was DNS Chef. DNS Chef allows you to redirect or really, really easily create your own fake DNS server and redirect DNS requests to your machine. Now, DNS requests are anytime you enter in a URL like google.com or something like that, um, you're not using the IP address of the machine you want to connect to. You're using a nice, nicely formatted URL that then gets converted to an IP address through a DNS server. What you can do is you can impersonate that DNS server and say, oh, I want to redirect this specific URL to this specific IP address. Now, of course, to actually use that as an attacker, you'd have to somehow gain man in the middle. So this is, this is kind of cool in the sense that it connects to what the man in the middle people are doing. So you'll see that they, they're doing art poisoning and attacks like that. So that will allow you to become man in the middle. Um, and then from there, you can fake that you're the DNS server. And then any requests to an actual website will be redirected to your fake login page. That's essentially, that's the whole scope. Um, if anybody has any questions about what was just presented, uh, what we talked about. I also really liked how you went over the different types of phishing. The, um, like especially spear phishing is becoming increasingly popular uh, because it allows you to target specific individuals and be more, um, make it more likely that they'll actually fall for your attack. 
but yeah, if anybody has questions, feel free to ask them now.